first of August, the year has flown by so, so quickly and it's already the first of August. It's a Saturday today and I thought I would vlog actually because a lot of people ask me two questions, either what do you do with all of your time or how do you have time to do everything that you're doing? Um, what do you do over the weekend? What do you do over the weekdays and everything? So those are the kind of questions that I always ask and I thought it would be interesting to vlog it and you know, share it with you so people know what I do. Some weekends are extremely, extremely lazy. Some weekends are super productive. Today, I feel like it is going to be a very ambitious weekend. I have planned a few things today. Um, since the weather is really, really good, we wanted to go for a picnic. I wanted to go to Ashton Gate, but most likely we'll just go to Grace Puzzle. But we will go out for a picnic in the evening or maybe even late afternoon. But before that, I wanted to do some filming today after a very long time. My last few videos were all um, like bulk recorded, so I didn't have to re-record it and everything. But that's my biggest fear. Recording and talking in front of the camera is actually my biggest fear ever. So every time I sit down to record, I would do probably two, at least two videos at a time, uh, or maybe even three. Today, I'm going to take it a notch higher and I'm hoping to do four videos this morning. I want to do two before breakfast and maybe two after breakfast. Let's see how that goes. That's just extremely ambitious of me. Not only the video. After the video, I want to get some cooking done today for the whole week actually. This week is going to be Italian menu. Um, so I'm going to cook for the week and then get ready for the picnic, get stuff done for that and go out. Um, Lakshman's already cleaned the house in the morning today so we didn't have to do that. I've already done my morning prayer and my workout. It's about 8. It's actually 8.37 now. This is slightly later than what I wanted to do. By 8 I wanted to start recording but obviously didn't get that much done in the morning at all so yeah I thought I'll get ready and Take you along with me. Another reason why I always try and record two or three videos at a go is because I dislike putting makeup. I don't like doing this at all. But my eye bags and my skin and tally is not all that great, so I need to do something if I want to be looking at myself while I'm editing. I look a bit presentable now. Uh, my hair is longer on this side, you know, if you've ever noticed, it's longer on this side than it is on this. I dare not try and cut it again. I've already done it twice before. Uh, I haven't worn earrings in such a long time. No, that's like I wore earrings yesterday and that's what probably is hurting me now. The stem was a bit too thick for my ears. Okay. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Ready for the video? It's nine. I need to set up now and then start doing everything. I think my eyebrow is a bit too dark. I never do this usually. And when I do it, it's a struggle. It's a challenge to get it right. Anyway, let's set up and start video number one. That took me a good 15 minutes to set up everything and now the sun just wouldn't cooperate at all. Regardless of the sun coming in and out, we'll still have to go ahead with it. This is how I normally have my setup, so that's my MacBook over there and I've got Asana open with some of my notes and points so that I don't forget. I've got some water, I realise that I need water while I'm doing this. And then my camera is set up with my um, Rode microphone and my tripod. I've got this reflector here because 
when I'm sat here next to the window, you have the sun reflecting from this side of the window. So this side of my face is brighter and this side is far darker because of the shadow. When I put a reflector, it gets rid of a little bit of that shadow. Not everything, but it's not harsh darkness. So it kind of balances it out a little bit and it looks far better with it. That's why I always set up my reflector. Um, it depends on how you set it up. The closer it is, the better it is. But if your frame itself is far away, then you can't have it that close. But it still makes a bit of an improvement. So let's start recording. Video number one is finally, finally over. It's half 10 already. I spent such a long time trying to get the light to settle in so that I can shoot. Also, it started raining. So it's still drizzling now um, and it's really, really dull and gray. I don't think picnic is happening today, unfortunately. We're just gonna have to have our own picnic at home. Um, that's the biggest thing. Anyway, I'm all set and ready for video number two. I will see you in a bit. Video two is finished. Ah, finally, my throat is so sore from talking nonstop. It's half 11 now. We haven't had breakfast yet. I think both Lakshman and I have lost our appetites because it's been such a long time. But we'll probably have like a brunch. It was going to be an English breakfast anyway, so we'll have a late lunch. Uh, I do need to cook for lunch today. No, late breakfast, so I don't have to cook for lunch. It probably looks as if I didn't move from here at all. I didn't for the last almost an hour and a half. So, <laughs> entire change of plans. Um, I ended up having breakfast, watching Sister Act 2, have a tear in my eye because it's that touching and emotional. We kind of got super lazy, so we're not going out for a picnic. It is actually really, really sunny and nice outside, but we'll probably go out for a regular walk later on. Um, since we didn't want to go out for a picnic, I laid out a picnic at home. Let me show you. I've laid everything out here in the living room. Let me show you what I've got. Um, that's cakes, walnut cake. And you've got cheese and tomatoes and jalapenos in here. Uh, that's just biscuit sticks with, I think, red pepper dip. That's tuna and corn pasta watermelon and crisp. This is at Sensation, the Walker Sensation. Mango papadum or something, I don't remember what that is. And I've got a peach tea in there. Let me call Lakshman out. Baby, come! Do you like this picnic? Yeah, where's chips? Over there. It's been a good few hours since I last checked in here. The last scene that I showed you, I believe, must have been the picnic setup, the so called picnic setup that we had at home. We ended up watching a movie while eating, and um, we were watching Parent Trap. This is from the 1990s or so. I've seen this before. But we just rewatched it again. It was a nice feel-good movie and it was fun. Um, we then went out for a walk. We did a nice long walk and got back home and started editing the live stream for tomorrow's service. Lakshman and I usually do it. Usually Lakshman does it. Uh, but sometimes I take a while to do it or sometimes I just help him to do a few things here and there. So tonight I had to sit down and help him do that. I wanted to take some time lapses or some videos while I went out walking, but I didn't do that at all. I, I forgot actually, I completely forgot. I had my phone on me and I just enjoyed the walk and we were talking about something else. 
That's one of the things that I struggle with, or maybe I find that a challenge. I prefer to live in the moment, in present, rather than taking photos and videos and you know keep looking at that, or uploading it, or compiling it, whatever it may be. And it's something that sometimes I feel I need to improve. Sometimes I feel like it doesn't matter. I can just live in the present. I don't need to document everything. But I don't know. There needs to be a balance about it. Anyhow, it's almost half ten now, and I am going to get ready for bed. I need to remove my makeup and stuff from this morning, and then get ready for bed. And I will see you tomorrow. Good night. We finally made it to Blaze Castle. We were supposed to come out here yesterday, but then, yeah, obviously we were late, so we ended up having our picnic at home. We today, we came out of the cave. I know. <laughs> Is that your man cave or our cave? Okay. Yeah, this is the thing. We never come out of the house. We just never leave the house at all. One of my biggest fears coming out is. Um, especially to a public park is where we see dogs around you know because it's an open space and people want to let their pets loose so that they have a chance to you know roam around and run about and everything but I'm not a pet person so it's not easy for me to manage when I see dogs running around I reckon we'll be able to get 10,000 steps today do you think so? You know, on a daily basis, even when we do our long walks... 10,000 steps and a nice thing. <laughs> do you think we can make 10,000 steps? I was just going to say, even when we do our regular long walks, we don't get 10,000 steps. We no. only get like 8,000. As long as we walk for an hour or more, we should be able to... I'm already panting. <laughs> I think it's a high altitude. <laughs> Probably, because we took... Um, a route which seemed to be a bit more difficult 